Hello everyone, Rissy Toothpick here, back again with some more Alan Wake 2, and we find ourselves in the Wellness Center. And with our goal to be to go save Tor. First, first things first is try to find out what can we do. Oh, there's a whole nother area here. Can we come through this door now? Oh, we can leave now. Great. I'm actually glad I came back over here. But, you know, we're still going to look for the, uh, the hunting rifle. Don't really know how strong it is, but since we've unlocked that, uh... That safe zone, we can actually put stuff away. And there's actually the doorknob right there. So, not too difficult, especially if you're looking around. You just got to remember that once the doors open, these doors open as well. What did we come out from right here? Yeah, so I just needed to go right. Okay. All right, let's actually make sure. Yeah, that's most of the rooms we've been able to get into. Before we go get the gun, because I already know the rifle should take up a lot of the space. Let's remove this. Realistically, to be honest, let's do something like this instead. Like those trauma pads are nice, but they take up a lot of space. Like too much space, to be honest. For what we're doing, way too much. Uh, actually, it's probably quicker just to go this way. And I don't know how strong the rifle is, so we're just going to have to find out. Another manuscript. The Colt Storms the Lodge. Ilmo was nervous. His palms were clammy. He lowered his phone. Mulligan isn't picking up. Yako shook his head, pointed at his own phone. Same with Thornton. Ilmo didn't like it. No one was answering the phone at the workshop in Watery either. Something was up. It had to be the writer. Had to be. The Coscula brothers were crouching in the bushes across from the Elderwood Palace Lodge, its lights shining in the night. They couldn't wait any longer. The brothers knew Saga was in Watery visiting her trailer. Going now was their only chance to do this without hurting her. Ilmo stood up and a crowd of deer masks looked his way. Okay, this is it. The rider is the target. Take him down and it's all over. Only shoot the Fed if you have to. This is our big moment. We watch in the night. The crowd murmured the chant back to him. Ilmo turned his face to the hotel. He could see Saga's partner in the window. Ilmo slapped his brother on the shoulder. The brothers donned their masks. The cult of the tree was ready. Well, they didn't want to hurt her, so that's why they waited until she left. Ready for a fight. 308, that's a beautiful gun too right there. Here's the deer Such again. A shame. All right, let's see what they got here. Very similar horns. One, two, three, four, five. So this is uh, I do not know what animal this is here. Like those horns are for like. A small red stag, maybe like a tiny one, maybe some other exotic. Oh, we got that mask. Uh, let's see here. Will it tell us high accuracy and range with strong shot stopping power? Might be an improved weapon here. Quick slot it. Ooh.
Uh, let's put it here. All right, so now we got everything we wanted. Now it's time for us to go try to save Tor. Door should be open. It is. Shit. What the hell is that? Okay, so you can, like, shoot stuff. It's, like, invisible. There we go. Damn. Hard to avoid this guy. Jesus Christ. Definitely a little weird. Let's reload our rifle. Okay, so slow loading, which is normal. Everything else is good, so. Anyways, before we go further, make sure map is looking clean. Need to catch up with Tor. Definitely gotta catch up, but we gotta make sure we look for everything. Lost and found mittens, homemade, a notebook full of daily meal plans, a nice fountain pen, an antique hair clip, very pretty, address inquiries to your friend Rose. I found a box of ammo for a hunting rifle in the cafeteria. Rose, I think you left some behind again. You really should be more careful. Take a tip from Vlad, a fellow weapon enthusiast. Always lock it up. Come collect it from me whenever you can. I brought that tea you said you liked. I can make you a cup if you want, BB. All right, so there's a box of ammo for a rifle per somewhere. If we haven't gotten it already. This must have been Tor's. Damn old bitch. You know, I gotta diss her. Doing that to old Tor, you know. He's an old man. Yeah, maybe he still gets a little, you know wild for the ladies but you can't be praying on him like that uh, i hear somebody was that rose uh yeah let's use that sure She knows. But she just said she knew who it was in particular and asked her, like, let him go. Well, let's see, have we been over here? I don't know if we have. So let me kind of check around here for any goodies. It's 1988, 
A face-off between deities on the rim of Cauldron Lake, high above its dark waters. Thunder roared, the old gods facing something even more powerful, something harder to define even. Or, changing the perspective, raving lunatics all, caught up in the frenzy of a shared delusion. The old gods, the corsairs of the Sea of Night, and the Dark One who yearned to stand in between, who had always stood in between, who would soon stand in between. We help you, you stay away from our family, Tor Anderson snarled over the thunder. Yes, until you all come to me, came the answer. That's never gonna happen, shouted Odin. I will take this as collateral, shall you remember our deal, said the Dark One. Blood arched from Odin's face as he fell to his knees. Lightning hit the dark figure on the cliff, and with that, he was gone. Tor rushed to his brother. Are you all right, bro? Effectively blind in that moment, the eye patch covering his left eye, his hand over the now empty socket of his right, blood oozing out of it. Odin cursed. The bastard took the wrong eye. <laughs> bastard took the wrong eye. He didn't take the bad eye. Well, I ain't seen no weapon fragments, unfortunately. Because now we have to upgrade the rifle. I don't know what the upgrades are going to look like. Actually, we can look at that right now. I'm interested. Consecutive successful hits will significantly reduce the time between shots. Stand still to enter in improved focus mode. The mode grants perfect accuracy, pulls shots towards enemy weak spots, and deals increased damage. Yeah, these are pretty good. So the rifle, probably really strong. Let's talk to Rose. What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or... Or is this the story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why? Oh yeah, 100%. I mean, you just watched her. She even talked about the person who's been doing it to him. So she knows. Alright, profiling. Miss Rose. Rose watched Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. Gee whiz. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Alrighty. And she does know about Cynthia, so let's figure out what she knows about her. Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoebox. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? Alrighty, anything here? Still, gotta wait on that. Tor becomes taken. Tor disappeared into the pond. It's another overlap. Has to be. How do I get inside? Wake told Rose to look for the hero. She won't help anyone else. Nah. <laughs> Alrighty. So we already know what we need to do. Oh, nice. This door's open. Are the other doors open or are they still locked? That's going to be important. We'll find out actually pretty quick. Okay, the TV actually protects you. That's pretty neat. Okay, well, to find out if we can go through all the doors, we'll just have to go to the next floor.
Odin Anderson stirred in his bed, his vision hazy, smudged. He felt weighted down by an ocean of dark water. Through the haze, he made out Saga. Odin felt useless. He wished he could tell Saga how his silly faces made her smile when she was young. Too young to remember. Odin used to joke that Tor was her grandfather, but he was the Allfather. He smiled at the memory. Odin was the kinder of the Anderson brothers. Tor lacked patience, more volatile. The brothers fought a lot, but they were inseparable. Now Tor was missing, dragged into darkness. Odin could feel it. Time was running out for both of them. Man, that's, that's even sadder because, like, you're just learning more about the relationship between the two. I don't have the key. All right, so we can't do that just yet. I guess Rose eventually is going to give us the key card and then we'll be able to do everything. And why do they have all the lights turned off? Like, come on. Y'all ever heard about, like, a night lamp or something? Rose. Um... Wake has returned. <gasps> oh. My. God. <laughs> You're the hero! You're here to save Alan! <sighs> I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Tor and Gale in there after they lost it, and... I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. <laughs> She's a little crazy, but you know what? She's got a heart. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox, the missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin will know more. Alrighty. We can do a little bit more profiling. Open the overlap. Or is the page predetermining it? Am I just playing into the story? Who knows? Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. Standing there, Saga felt exposed. Expecting the shadows to come alive. The needle crackled on the vinyl. The song swelled. Odin had said it was written for her and her mother. Her grandfather's apology. The lamentation of an old man. His heart was broken. Sinking into darkness. Odin had said that the song would be a way to no tour. A way to find him. A light bloomed in through the garden window. That's where Tor had vanished into the pond. Saga knew what she had to do. Alrighty. Let's figure out where the record is from Odin. The page mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion. Raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize to your mother, Freya, and to you. Tor's like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you, even if it broke your grandfather's heart and mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Odin knows my mom's name. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. And we've already seen that room before, so we know where it's at. There's only one copy of the record. Tor kept it in the nursing home's museum. Mom moved away with me because of Tor. Why did mom leave? I mean, he was a party animal, you know, probably not healthy for you. And there's a basement here. 
Oh no, we're in the water. Oh, there's a few dead people down here. How do they not know? They're like, man, what happened to the gardener? He's just been gone for like ever now. Who knows? He's probably just slacking off. He doesn't want his job. Anything here? Nope. I feel like the bolt cutters would be down here. Like, if I was bolt cutters, this is where I'd be. I can't get through this. Remember, buy more fuses, many more. Crappy old equipment keeps blowing them. Oh, I bet you because of the power's out, we can't get into the, uh, the rooms. I bet you that's what's happening. Wheeler used to be the agent of a manic depressive celebrity writer, Alan Wake. Wake had various addictions on his back, an on-off death wish. Wheeler had seen a thing or two. Wheeler paid a lot of money for a good shrink. Got himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen leading up to Wake drowning himself were just his imagination. PTSD. Now we had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. But the Andersons were something else. The nightmares were starting to creep in again. Or maybe it was the drugs in the air. Wheeler hoped it was the drugs. The Andersons were so old. Vampires. After every gig in the party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. And they never did completely. Each time Wheeler expected them to croak. Man, he's just waiting for them to die. Man, what's down here? Like, the further I go, the more stuff I find. Oh, nice. A shoebox desperately needed. Uh, we're going to hold everything else. No reason to do anything there. Let's actually check the map. It's a battery pack, apparently. Oh, it's right there. Come on. Uh, can you not get it? Is this magical? You can't. You can't. Man, see, that's a problem with this game. Can't be opened on this side. Yeah, well, we don't need the battery pack. Luckily, we're, you know, we're decent. A lot of manuscripts in here. Emmett Elwood had had enough. All his life, he'd been surrounded by the same small-minded, impolite, ignorant people in town. Their endless gossip their nose picking, chewing food with their mouths open, not washing their hands after visiting the restroom, and touching things, touching everything. The world was going to hell. He'd watched day after day how all the nice things in life in Bright Falls were spoiled and ruined forever. There would be a just and terrible reckoning. Emmett had imagined many times how he'd make them pay. He had lovingly tended his anger, made it grow hotter. It was out in the open now. Ugly and slobbering, they reached at him with their unwashed hands. He'd beat them down. Beat them until they no longer moved. And then he'd wash his hands with a strong antibacterial disinfectant. My goodness. Emmett's not messing around here. He's like, you know what? You eat with your mouth open, you're dead. It's a good enough reason for me. Oh man, you gotta be kidding me on that. Look at that big ass health pack. You can stay in there, I don't want you. Rose, spare fuses are now locked away because someone, Ati, keeps stealing them. Code is in the laundry room. Alright, there's a laundry room somewhere. Let me see if we found it. A laundry room. 
in that one room where we couldn't open the door. Okay. That's probably where, the, where we need the code. House of Zane, renowned filmmaker, establishes artist commune in Bright Falls. Thomas Zane, both Thomas Seen in Finland, and his partner Barbara Jagger have recently established an artist commune here in Bright Falls. Mr. Zane has purchased the old manor house outside town and a couple has already settled in. In his home country and internationally as well, Mr. Zane is a well-known and respected a tour filmmaker, a rising star already compared to the likes of Stanley Kubrick and Igmar Bergman. His earlier film, Nightless Night, won a number of European film awards. Mr. Zane is currently in the process of filming a feature entitled Tom the Poet. In conversation, Mr. Zane comes across as a charismatic figure with big dreams. He talks about building a hotel and a film studio in the area. He even has a nickname picked out for the hotel, Ocean View Hotel. This reporter believes the name has a nice ring to it. Mr. Zane's dreams could actually make Bright Falls a household name if they become reality. Members of the commune clearly feel the same, seeing Zane as a person worth revering, even to a faintly cult-like degree. A person who guides his flock to expand the conscious, their consciousness and reach a higher state of artistic inspiration with the aid of magic mushrooms. While the Bright Falls record does not condone the use of illegal drugs, we hope Mr. Zane will help put our town on the artistic map. So, he might be Scratch. Or somehow, you know... Is this open? Perfect. I, this is what I needed. 100% this is what I needed for the shoebox. Do that. Now I'm thinking about just getting rid of the crossbow for a little bit, like, or the rifle. But then the rifle, I got good ammo for the rifle. I only have one slot though. Ugh. You know what? How, how are we on ammo? Might regret it, don't know. Move that there, move that there. Now we got plenty of room. There we go. Now give me all this crap. The crossbow, I like the crossbow, don't get me wrong, it's a beautiful gun, but when we're rolling with like a little bit of everything, Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. Cynthia Weaver hated being old. She'd been a doer. A fighter. Now the bathroom frightened her. Afraid she'd break her hip. Like Norman. Cynthia had always kept her lantern close, to hold the darkness at bay. Oh dear, my lantern. I think I've lost it, Cynthia said. This will put a smile back on your face, my dear, a voice said. A man's voice. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. The light bulb had blown. She meant to replace it days ago. How could she forget? She had slipped getting out of the tub. She lay in the tub now. She lifted her hand. It looked wrong. Too many hands. In a black void with no sense of up or down, she was underwater. A dark shape pushed her down. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. It came out in bubbles. Interesting. So now we know how she got infected. Okay, yeah, everything's good there. The code should be in this room somewhere. C 
Code is 273. Rose, if you see this, please remind the residents to leave my stuff alone. I think they hate me. 273. The hell was that? I get the shotgun out. When in doubt, blow them up. That's what I do. Got the fuse we needed. A fuse could come in handy. Oh, he's in that room over there. I think what we did what we needed to do. I think when we go to try to get into the museum, the power's going to go out and then we're going to have to come back down here. So maybe we're a little bit, you know, ahead of time. But it is what it is. But we're going to stop here today. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Check out the links below. And next time, we're going to see if we can uh, get into the museum. Because who knows?